when we are checking for the dung, we check not only for seeds, also for the if there's any dung beetle, if there's any flies, and if there's any uh, seedlings. Mm. Mm. For every two weeks that we come, we change the camera traps and then we find for dung. One zero one three two zero four three. We will uh, note the GPS coordinate. We'll take a picture, and then uh, we'll start searching for uh, seeds. We take hormone when the we assess that the dung pile is a fresh one. Mm. For example, between one to two days. Because uh, if it's more than two days, then the hormone will deteriorate. So Stephen, how many elephants do you think have been here? Here probably, I would say a herd of about four or five of them. How long ago? This, uh, we were here two weeks ago. So I would say easily a week to ten days. And they just come here for the water, or for the water, for uh, and then they pass through. Generally, for the for the for the mineral water that they, that they drink. Well, we have here three big seeds of something that we don't know, probably binary. So these are very large, would be hard seeds. There are not many animals that can physically eat and defecate these seeds, and then disperse away from the mother tree. Okay, and this elephant just had defecated three, so it's, it's, a, it's a very good example of the unique ecological role that large animals like elephants can play. Uh, later on we will test to see what species of trees the seed comes from, so that uh, eventually we will have a, a, a bank of uh, seeds with proper information that what kind of trees they are from actually, and the species of trees. This is a new plant that is, it came from elephant dung. And as you can see, there are some remains from the seeds. This is all from the same species. This one, the wild boar have eaten it actually. Yeah, the, the wild boar, eh, probably they, they also ate from they elephant crack, dung. They crack it open there. Yeah. But things that the, the elephant brought from somewhere else, probably several kilometers, even tens of kilometers away, okay. seeds of this plant, it being a Malayana. It is like a mango. It's, it's like this size, green, fleshy. And in many places, the, the seed is being consumed as an almond. I, when I was in Cambodia, I was, I was surprised people sitting on the streets. So it's, it's a very useful food resource. And in this case, it's being maintained by large herbivores, particularly elephants. We are having and we will have a lot of support from the government. And we will contribute our part, which is producing data. And they're the ones who have to do the other things, which is doing the conservation. And I think we can help them a lot. We are very well financially right now. Uh, <clears throat> we have sustainability for the next uh, four plus years, thanks to a, a grant from the yes, Samson Derby. And that's a very good situation for a, for a researcher to be in. So right now I think we are very privileged to have, to have sustainability. doesn't mean that we are fully covered. We have many other things that we need to find uh, funds for. But at least the core activity that we are doing right now, we know that it will be work, uh, happening for the next five years. And that's, that's really good. Yeah.